I probe, declare sit at home on Tuesday for Nande Kano's trial and to protest Buhari's visit to Imo State. Hello, great viewers. Welcome to my noble channel. Again, this impost on Asso Rock is visiting Imo State in the name of commissioning a project. This man in Asso Rock is a criminal. And this is more reason why we have to double our job. As we plan to sit at home for Mazen and the Canos trial, we also have to double it so that we cannot see this fake man face. We don't need to see it. He's a fake man and he remains a fake man as far as we are concerned. Now, without wasting your time, let me go ahead with the news in detail. The indigenous people of Biafra has instructed its member and the supporters of his ten leader, Mas Namde Kano, living in the southeast region to boycott social and economic activities on Tuesday. According to a statement released by the group media and publicity secretary, the seat at home on Tuesday, according to the group, is for two reasons. To allow the Biafra agitation give solidarity to Mazen Namde Kano, who we appear before Nigerian court of appeal, and to protest the planned visit of President Muhammad Buhari to Imo State. Now, earlier reported that Buhari was scheduled to visit Imo State on Tuesday to officially open some capital projects done by Governor Hoposodem of Imo State. Reacting, IPOB therefore described Buhari invitation as a great insult to the memory of their member in Imo State that had been allegedly murdered by Nigerian government in collaboration with the Nigerian Army, the Police and the Department of State Service. IPOB said, the global family and movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, under the command and leadership of Namde Kanov, wish to announce to the general public, especially Biafrans, that Tuesday, 13th of September, has been declared a day of civil action in the form of sit at home in Biafra law. The Tuesday, 13th September, 2022 civil action is very important for two reasons. First, our leaders appeal court hearing that was supposed to be on October 11th has been brought forward to 13 September 2022. As usual, we call on Biafrans and lovers of freedom to demonstrate our solidarity with our leader who is bearing our yoke in detention for over a year now. IPOB never issued a new directive to Biafrans, but is simply implementing an existing order to look down Biafra land, to lock down Biafra land and any day the leader of the Nigerian people of Biafra will appear in court at Abuja. It was based on such an agreement with our leader that informed the suspension of the initial Monday sit at home declared by our leadership in August of 2021. It is imperative that our people understand this and go about their duty, about their daily work and business on Monday and get prepared for Tuesday, the 13th of September, 2022, because Biafra land will be locked down completely. Second, it has come to the knowledge of the leadership of the indigenous people of Biafra that the vulture in Ikonso House in Oweri, the Imo State Government Office has decided to insult the memory of our gallant men and women and of the youth of Imo State that he has been murdered in collaboration with Nigerian authority terrorists. There shall be a total lockdown of the whole of Biafra land on Tuesday, the 13th of September 2022. The impostor Buhari cannot be coming to Imo State 
why he continues to detain our leader Masnam the Kano in DSS custody. We therefore expect all markets, schools, banks, businesses, and companies, including police station in Biafra Land, to be under lock and key next week, Tuesday, September 13th, 2022, in solidarity with our leader, Maznam De Khan. This is the news. And my analysis should be this. It is very good that we obey this order and do the needful. That thing in Asoroko is not a president, he's a killer. And we should avoid seeing his face, his ugly face, because he's a monster. And the man named the Kano, on the other hand, is a man we all respect because of his accident, his track record, what he has done for the Biafrans. And being in prison for us, being in DSS custody for a year and two months now, or if not more than, we have to respect this information and do the needful. It has been there for long, and this we have to do again. According to IPOB, this is not a new directive. It is something that has been there. This sit at home is something we must obey. And this is the more reason why we must do our businesses. And on that 13th of September, we must obey the sit at home and sit at home so that we will respect our leader master and the at the same time we will not see the ugly face of that uh, vulture who has murdered innocent Timur light and every other person in Ebola. I think I've come to the end of this news. Please remain blessed and do the needful and cheers. <laughs>